I literally cannot stop smiling today. Um, our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. Our God is an awesome God. God is an awesome God. And I've been singing that song all morning long. Okay, so this is so exciting, guys, because Jesus gave me another message today. But it's confirming everything. It's so cool. Um, and okay, he's giving me two, two, two all day today. I am so excited. He gave it to me yesterday too. But today I looked at the clock. It was 1222. I looked at the video that I did earlier before when I got it. It was um, viewed 222 times. Okay, if you look at Acts 222, it says... Um, men of Israel, hear exactly these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested by God to you by miracles, wonders, and signs, which God threw him in your midst as you yourselves also know. It's also wisdom appears in scripture exactly 222 times, according to Cassie, because she was helping me figure out what 222 means. Okay. So anyway, so here's the message. Lots of exciting things. Um, okay. May 15, 2023, I claim that Jesus Christ is the son of God. He's also God. He came to earth as a man in the flesh. He bled on the cross and died for us. And he rose on the third day. Ephesians 3:11. According to the eternal purpose, which he accomplished in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Almost 3, 7. Surely the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals his secret to his servants, the prophets. 1 Peter 2, 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Okay. Leviticus 2, 9. Then the priest shall take from the grain offering a memorial portion and burn it on the altar. It is an offering made by fire, a sweet aroma to the Lord. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. <clears throat> Ephesians 2, 9. Not of works, lest anyone should boast. Joel 1, 7. He has laid waste my vine and ruined my fig tree. He has stripped it bare and thrown it away. Its branches are made white. 1 Thessalonians 2.11 As you know how we extorted and comforted and charged every one of you as a father does his own children. Job 9.3 if one wished to contend with him, switching arms, if one wished to contend with him, he could not answer him one time out of a thousand. Mark 14, 8. She has done what she could. She has come beforehand to anoint my body for burial. Luke 9, 11. <clears throat> but when the multitudes knew it, they followed him and received them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God and healed those who had need of healing. Numbers 23, 22. God brings them out of Egypt. He has strength like a wild ox. Luke 22, 23. Then they began to question among themselves, which of them it was who would do this thing. Matthew eleven twenty two. But I say to you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in the day of judgment than for you. <clears throat> Exodus. 23 22 but if you indeed obey his voice and do all that i speak then i will be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversaries okay here's the message my child i am coming the angels are lined up ready to blow door is closing have you believed in me yet I have already done, I'm sorry, it's my grace that saves you. I told you it's nothing that you can do. It's everything I have already done for you. Let me close the door because of this light. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> it was bothering me. <laughs> okay, um... It's my will for everyone to be at the wedding feast. But unfortunately, many of you have stubborn hearts and you still don't believe. I have given you so many signs. Are you watching for me? Or do you still think you can figure out revelation of my word without the Holy Spirit guiding you? 
You know how you truly get my spirit. It's praying to me. It's worshiping me. It's believing in me and your childlike faith. I love you. I wish for no one to perish. Look up and look around. All these signs are coming. You will see aurora lights everywhere. You will see red skies. Two moons. You will experience more earthquakes, power outages, and lightning strikes. You will see halos around the sun and the moon. You will see Revelation 22 come to life. How did John's vision of the end of the world go? How did I show him? What did I let him see first? Isn't it my goal to save everyone first? I showed him when the church was going to be taken away. Revelation 22. Do you have the revelation yet? Is everything in order? Is everything reversed? Do my seals match with the bulls? I told you to look at the numbers. Are you looking at the numbers? What do they mean? I am your Lord God and I have spoken. Waves, my child, waves. Huge tsunami waves coming. They are going to flood the East Coast. New York, New Jersey, Washington, D.C. are going to get hit the worst. The end is here, children. But it's just the beginning. It's not too late for me to save you. I have warned you with so many messages. I have warned you with so many anointed ones. I have warned you with so many signs. Are you heeding my warnings? Wake up, O oh sleeper. I am at the door. My time, my date is in my word. My prophets have already found it. Are you searching for it? Are you searching for me? I love you. Believe in me. Give me your heart, child, and I will save you. Look at the scriptures. What do they all have in common? For thine is the power and glory, for the kingdom is at hand. I love you. I am your redeemer, your Adonai, your rescuer, and I have spoken. Revelation 22, 3. And there shall be no more curse, but throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. Proverbs eleven three. The integrity of the upright will guide them, but the perversity of the unfaithful will destroy them. Matthew 22, 3. And sent out his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding, and they were not willing to come. Revelation 14, 7, saying with a loud voice, fear God and give him glory to him, get and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment has come and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of water. John 1, 12, but as many as received him to them, he gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in his name. Genesis 41, 3. Then behold, seven other cows came up after them out of the river, ugly and gaunt, and stood by the other cows on the bank of the river. I don't know what that one means, but I think there's a symbolism there. Mark 2, 2, 2. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins, or else the new wine bursts the wineskins. The wine is spilled, and the wineskins are ruined. But new wine must be put into new wineskins. If you want your new wineskin, you believe in Jesus Christ, guys. He is our living water. <laughs> it's also, it's, there's so many symbolism in the Bible now that I think about it. Um, you know, even all the way up to the wine, you know, and the communion and, and everything. I mean, wow. <laughs> um, that was just a revelation I just got like a second ago. Um, that's amazing, um, guys. And um, I really feel like he's coming. You should have the clue now, by now. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he's given it to you so many times. Um, all the clues are there. So seek him, worship him, believe in him. It's your faith and his grace that saves you guys. I'm so excited. Our king is coming. He's giving so many revelations, so many dreams to people. So many people have gotten the same date, May 22nd, 2023. He's given it to it in dreams. So pray up, believe in Jesus, guys. 
He wants us to know it's in his word and his message. Find the scriptures. I love you. God bless.